Imagine if your thoughts and feelings could be controlled from a control room, where the people in charge of a system could, by the press of a button, decide what's going on in your mind. Is such a scenario simply science fiction, or could it be a scientific reality? Are we losing control over the one thing we thought could never be taken away from us? Our minds. External influences tampering with our minds is nothing new. For thousands of years, we have known that alcohol and various types of drugs affect and often impair our thinking. We also know that different types of drugs would have different effects on our cognitive functions. In the past couple of centuries, the field of neuroscience has studied and discovered much about the workings of the brain. We now know that the brain functions mainly through the transmission of electromagnetic pulses between neurons. As neuroscience became more advanced, scientists found how to alter the brain's functions by targeting specific parts of the brain with the proper electromagnetic pulses. This method has been used to treat the symptoms of many mental problems, such as depression. In other words, neuroscientists now possess tools which could affect a person's feelings and thoughts. But unless someone put an electrode in our heads or made us consume a psychedelic substance. They would have no way of changing how our minds work. However, there are also ways that an external agent can influence our thinking, which does not involve direct control. In other words, the human mind can be manipulated. Neuroscientists are performing tests to identify the mental responses of the brain to various forms of media. Some of these tests involve showing a test subject different videos while scanning their brains using fMRI. The purpose of these tests is to determine the correlation between mental reactions and the properties of the media shown to us. The knowledge of these links would enable broadcasters to tailor their messages in order to evoke their desired emotional response in their audience, a process which is called neuromarketing. They could design messages to make a viewer sad or angry, or make them prone to do or not do a specific action. Another aspect of this mental manipulation is based in computer science. Artificial intelligence is being used to learn what characteristics would attract a larger audience and retain them for a longer time. By using machine learning methods, companies like Twitter, Facebook, and of course YouTube are designing systems and algorithms to suggest content to users, which would keep them glued to their platforms. For an example of a primitive algorithm. When a user watches a video on YouTube, the algorithm checks other people who have watched that video, and identifies the other videos those people have watched, and then suggests these videos to the initial user. But these algorithms have evolved considerably, and are now finding ways to keep users from leaving the site. Videos are being analyzed for their components and characteristics, including length, transcript, and audio and visual characteristics. Videos with certain characteristics would be suggested to different users, and each one of them will generate a certain amount of user watch time, which is documented for further analysis. Then the sample characteristics will be altered, and another set of videos will be suggested. By repeating this process and analyzing the effects of different characteristics on user watch time, the algorithm would be able to recognize the characteristics which most effectively entrap the user's attention. And thus, the most attention-gripping videos would be suggested to each user based on their personal characteristics and preferences. These methods have been designed to increase dopamine release in the brain. Dopamine is basically the pleasure substance of the brain and is one of the main elements behind any addiction. In other words, big tech is trying to turn people into addicts, and it is safe to say that they have succeeded to some degree, as the time people spend on these platforms. Has increased by more than 60% in the last seven years. What's more is that while these algorithms and methods were designed to maximize user attention, they could easily be altered to change other human behaviors. For example, they could cause people to oppose one political group in favor of another group, or they could incite political action. And all of this would happen without the masses even being aware that they are being influenced at all. 
The manipulation of the human mind by using technology is a reality that is affecting our lives even now. And as technology progresses, this manipulation would only become more capable of reaching further into our minds. So could we be reaching a point where technology acquires a firm grip on our thoughts and feelings? Can we somehow stop and resist this manipulation? Or is it too late already? Please leave your opinions in the comment section below and subscribe for more episodes of AI Insight. Also, if you find the content of this channel interesting, help us grow by sharing our videos in social media. And until next time, goodbye.